How's it going, everybody? It is March 23rd. This is Merch by Amazon or Merch on Demand Demand Sales Update. I'll just be very brief. I wanted to give you guys uh, uh, an update, kind of like a status report. Uh, things are still going well. The last couple of days, I've actually felt like things are slowing down a little bit. So I've been comparing uh, this month to last year's uh, March results. And uh, I'll, I'll show you those numbers in a minute. But uh, but overall, it's it's still feeling good. Uh, you know, even when it's slower now, for example, my my total sales would be nine or ten uh, a day across all the marketplaces. So it's good that you know that that when even when I'm hitting double digits, I'm considering that a slow day. So that that actually feels good. I'll tell you where I'm sitting right now. So right now, this is the U.S. Uh, U.S. sales, two thousand seven hundred and twenty-four dollars and fifty cents for a total royalties of $492. So that's that's actually really good because I'm, I'm getting close to, maybe even by the end of today, hopefully I get some sales. It's about uh, just about to hit noon uh, and no sales in, in the US. I have four sales in total. Uh, but, but even if I get a few sales, my royalties will actually uh, be the same as as last month or i might even overtake that which is which is actually really good because we have i think eight days to go including today uh, so so that's that's really good really good i'm sitting at 237 uh, total sales and uh, w which is good what i wanted to do is i wanted to point out uh, germany and italy now let me just go back to this screen here and show you uh, Italy. So this is kind of what it looks like. So you, you'll see these like four sales here, then you get the, you know, one offs and then today three. But uh, the, I mean, one one item is responsible for most of those sales, as you can see here, uh, 28 sales in the last uh, 30 days. Uh, royalties here are just terrible. I actually just edited this uh, product to to I think I, I went from 16 or 15.99 to to 19.99 uh, euros, and uh, but while I was doing that, I was kind of looking at the at the numbers. Uh, I never actually thought to to check if I have uh, like Amazon's choice tags uh, for any other marketplaces, and it just happens that I do for this product, and I and I didn't know that because I'm always thinking kind of I'm U U.S. oriented, so you know when 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 I get a few of those. I kind of think it's a, it's a big deal, uh, but you know I could potentially have a few. At least I have one in in Italy. But from time to time, I wouldn't be surprised if I have a, you know, if Amazon puts a, a an Amazon's Choice tag on some of my products, and that's where I see a spike in sales. So this one does have it. I don't know for how long it's been there, but uh, that's pretty exciting. So I I never actually thought about that. I've never checked, and this is actually the first time that I've noticed. So. The, the reason that I wanted to talk about that is because, I mean, Italy, in addition to Germany, really stands out when it comes to sales. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's it's that one product, uh, you know, that's responsible for uh, the majority of these uh, sales. I mean, now the, the royalties are just terrible, so I've increased that, but I wonder if that's actually going to play with the Amazon's choice tag or, or sales in general if, if I, now, you know, I've increased the price by by three or four euros, uh, which could be significant. I don't know, time will tell, so I guess we'll see. So 237 up until this point and 226 would have been for the first 22 days of uh, March, 2022. So that's good because I'm ahead of last year. And if we actually look at uh, the entire month last year, I was at 319 and I was I was really happy about that. So if I can squeeze that this month, uh, I, I will be extremely happy because not only, you know, will I crack that 300 uh, royalties will will add up. And like I said, they're already uh, looking pretty good when it comes to uh, just the U.S. sales. So, again, if we let me just see, I'll let this uh, load here because I wanted to show you the the uh, monthly uh, graph. I'll pause it here and I'll, I'll be back. Okay, here we are. So this is what, what it looks like so far. So even in the next couple of days, if I get any US sales, uh, you know, it will be uh, an average month, 
and then basically we have a week left of uh, hopefully some good sales that, that will actually break out of this plateau, this kind of like almost straight line that's going through uh, all of these all of these numbers. So that's that's kind of exciting because uh, you know since December the sales have been going down. They really weren't impressive, you know. Even in September, October, November, December wasn't uh, I- impressive. I mean, it's still relative w- when I'm looking at you know 2022 and 2021. But still, I mean, these are these are not crazy sales. Like I I really want to see an, a spike, uh, a significant spike. But I but I mean, this is what we're working with now. So, anyways, I, I think this is going to be a good month. I, I think we'll get that breakout. And and then overall sales. If if I can you know get something like this, I will actually be extremely happy. Also happy about that Amazon's Choice uh, tag in Italy. And uh, so yeah, so far things are going well. Things are feeling good, and I feel good. So I'll leave it here. Thank you guys. I'll talk to you soon.